Hi everybody, this is my first attempt at doing stamping mass paper um, card. So I have the stamping mass paper, I have distressed watercolor cardstock, uh, one of my favorite stamps, lovely as a tree, which I'll be using this stamp right here. My little Busy Bee Caesars stays on ink, and my Suzix, and not to forget my scrubber here. Okay, so what we're going to do first is grab one of these papers here from my stamping mass paper, put it to the side. Hope this turns out really good. There's this is actually my second attempt. My first one, it did so good, and I was like, oh, I should make a video. Okay, and then you'll get your stays on ink. Sometimes people do, you know, bring the stamp to the ink, and others will do bring the stamp to the ink. Did I just, yeah, stamp to the ink or ink to the stamp. Okay. I know I had black on here before, so I'm using now brown. I hope that the brown comes on there, so. Let's get right in here. Ew, my nails look horrible. Please work, please work. Oh, there you go. I did one earlier today, so see? So what I'm going to do now is just cut straight up. Away to the side, close my stays on the side, grab my big shot. Love the magnetic platform. I have to use tape on it. If you can see, this has been very loved. Put my stamping mask on there, and what did I do? Oh, there it is. Psst, silly me. Because it's magnetic, it'll stay. Oops, there you go. Okay. All right. Put her here. and then you have your little tree so then what you'll do is because I'm going to watercolor it what I'm going to do now is also use stays on ink because when I use my watercolors the stays on won't bleed so press down the reason I'm probably pressing down too hard is because my stays on inks are very old <laughs> I think they're like three or four years old so what I'll do is right there. Voila, there's my tree. Then my best friend is texting me. And you know what? What I'm going to do is put that right there. And then try to save that. I guess to save the sticky part again. So then, I hope you can see this here. Again, I'll ink it really good. Uh, the only thing about stamps, about the blocks, is that you can't really see where you're going, so you're kind of like crossing your fingers that it'll work out. But then I'm gonna put this right here. See that? And then, stamp it again. Just want a little further back. Trees are messy, so you don't have to have them all symmetrical or anything. And because I had that tree earlier cut out, I think I'm just going to do this with here. See? With this here. Oopsie, I guess these things are not always that reusable. It's coming off. I'm going to put this one up here. Put this one up here. 
The other one I did, as you can see here, was really, really light. See, that was my first attempt. See what that one, see how that did? And then you have that. I think I'm going to do, I think I'll just leave it like that. No, nope, I'll just do one more, just for the fun of it. Give you guys to be able to see that. So maybe they are one usage, so you don't have to keep this. Let's see, this one. I wanted to use brown because I thought it would be a lighter, but I think I'll use a lighter brown next time. And then this one, I'll put it up higher. And then, voila, see? As much as I would like to reuse those, um, Amazon had them on their website. They're not paying me to do this video, so that's where I usually get my stuff. So, you see how pretty that looks right there? Uh, thank you for watching my first video. You guys have a great night. Any feedback is greatly appreciated.